Let's now take a look at the snail cam, which is right here. This is the first cam that uh, must go in one particular way. It can't go clockwise or counterclockwise. It must go either one or the other, in, as you'll see. And we have some distances here of this point here and this point here. This is D over 4 and D over 2. And you can see as this comes, the follower is going to drop abruptly and then kind of not do much here and then ab drop ab abruptly here. So you can imagine how that might be useful. So to do this one, this one's a little different, but it's not that hard. Let's go ahead and begin. We'll go to the snail uh, part studio. And as usual, I'm going to put a, a sketch on the front plane in. I'm going to turn off the planes. I don't really need them right now. Actually, I do. To start off here, we're going to put some points here. We're going to put a, a point that is has a vertical constraint with the origin here, and we're going to put another one up higher, and then we're going to come out horizontal, another vertical, and another horizontal. Okay. And now we're going to dimension these in a certain way. So this distance here is uh, nominal dia over 4. Okay. And if you go back here you can see that's the case right here. And now what this does is, is this radius from the center here, the radius of this cam, uh, increases constantly in a, in a um, certain way until it gets ends up being bigger when it gets back here and that's the origin of the drop so we need to find a way to make this thing get bigger and bigger and bigger ever so slightly until we get all the way over here by the time we get there we, we're that far away that much farther away so here's a way to do it so um, we're going to increase by a sixteenth of an inch as we go around to these points. So this is um, was nominal dia over four. We're going to go up a sixteenth here to make it uh, five sixteenth, six sixteenth, seven sixteenth, until finally eight sixteenth, which is another half. So let me just do it, and you can see how we we do that. So uh, the distance from here to here is going to be um, nominal dia uh, times 5 over 16. Oops, I didn't let it uh, turn into nominal dia if I just put it in there. Okay, times 5 over 16. Okay. Now what I could have done, and probably should have done, is here, instead of saying nominal dia over 4, I'm going to instead change that to nominal dia times 4 over 16, which is just 1 fourth. So hopefully that, that can help see how we're doing this. So this distance here is going to be um, nominal dia times so this was uh, 4 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, this is 6 sixteenths, 6 over 16, which of course is 3 eighths, right? But we're going to, we're doing it this way so we can kind of understand where this is coming from. And from here to here, this is going to be uh, nominal dia times 7 over 16. Okay, and finally, once we get back up here, as it must, this is going to be nominal dia times 8 over 16, which of course is just one half. Uh, whoops, 16. Just one half. Okay, now we've got this point. Now, what we want to do is use a, uh, an arc here to go from this point here down to this point by way of this point. Okay? 
and this arc here is going to go from here all the way up to here by way of this point. And you can see that that is fully constrained. The only thing I need to do is add a, uh, a line here. And I think we have it. All right. So the only thing we're missing is the uh, center point rectangle for the axle that's going to go in here. And this is going to be um, axle side, of course. And the other one is going to be axle side as well. And there's our hole. So let's accept that. Everything's black, so it's fully um, constrained. We'll do an extrude symmetric a distance THK right there and we'll accept that and then we'll rename this to snail let's see did I rename pair yep did. how about hex yep good so here's the snail and let's test this uh, our, our configuration variable what if I make this four does it basically just get bigger but generally be the same overall shape yeah kind of looks like it um, one it's pretty small okay so I think uh, I think it's working okay so that is the snail cam with configuration variables and we're gonna put these to work in subsequent videos uh, shout out to Austin for showing me how to do this technique and uh, we'll see you next time